Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Kimberly Haxton with the Oakley Place Care. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Welcome to the show. This is your first time on our show with the Oakley Place. I'm it is. so excited. Very exciting to share with you guys all about it. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's a new year. Um, let's talk a little bit about Oakley Place. I get, probably just to start for some of our new viewers out there, just what is Oakley Place Care? What do you guys do there? So it is a home plus care facility and that's not something that a lot of people are aware of, of what it is. So we are in the nursing aspect. Um, we are not in assisted living and we're not considered a nursing facility, but we do have super supervised nurses there and we also have CNAs and CMAs. Um, we have two homes off of 6th and Oakley. It is a locally owned facility owned and operated by Mandy and Chris Tench. Great people and we have 12 residents or less in each home. We also have two other facilities, one in Rossville and mm. one in Seneca. All right, so a little bit of everything going on yeah. right now. And you know, so, so looking at Oakley Place, you know, what signs do you guys kind of look for when determining potential residents? Uh, in, are they need a um, need of your care? How does that all work then? So we do an assessment with our nurses. They go and uh, they evaluate the patient and check for the mental acuity. They check for diagnosis status. They also check their ambulatory status, so if they can walk and what their independent status is. Those are the four main things that we look for. Okay. And so, yeah, what separates Oakley Place from other care facilities? I definitely would say we are more one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there is a staff to patient ratio of one to four and when you get to more of like the larger facilities you're not going to have that mm -hmm. type of personalized care. We are super individualized and we do make um, the family a part of any decisions and I think that is a big deal whether it be on you know redoing the room they all get their own private room and so they can make it more homely. I think that is also very important for them when they're transitioning. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful because yeah. Yeah, you always hear worries about the kind of the, some of the bigger facility care areas. You don't know kind of how things are going to run, but it's a little, little smaller, tight knit, a little, a little bit more control there and understanding yeah. what's going on. Yeah, and they love it, and um, we want them to be able to keep themselves and their personality. Mm -hmm. And one thing about the facility here is she started it because of family, and she runs it because of family. And these people that come in, they become family. I love going in, and you know, I do activities with the residents, but the nurses get involved, and the residents just love our staff. And, and Mandy always makes sure at every single facility that they have the best of the best, and they are experienced in what they do. And so it's really awesome to go in and just see everybody just laughing and, and <laughs> loving life together. And what kind of activities are there going on at Oakley Place? I I think we've seen over the past year or so just pictures. You guys have holidays and events. Yeah. It, looks, it does look like a lot of fun over there. Yeah, we had Santa come over, and that was a great time. He gave away chocolates as gifts, and everybody had a blast with that. And then we made s'mores on New Year's Eve oh. inside. And so they really enjoyed that. We played um, some fun games. And then tomorrow what is uh, National Sticker Day. So we're oh, going to okay. have my kids go over there and deliver <laughs> some stickers. Hey. Yeah. Um, Always a good time right yes. there. I can't get enough of stickers myself, <laughs> actually. And I'm also curious, um, obviously, the past couple of years, we've been dealing with COVID. And I know this year we've had RSV and the flu floating around. How have you guys been handling that? So we do uh, make sure we follow KDAD's guidelines and protocols for CDC. And we always make sure we're masking. We are wearing N95s. We're sanitizing. And our nurses are very diligent. They're always cleaning. They're always making sure that everyone's washing their hands. So I think that goes a long way, and that also is enforced with our family members that come and visit. Mm -hmm. Great. That's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Well, Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a pleasure. I'm so happy to meet you. Thank and you. We can't wait to have you back on the show later in the year. Yeah, you too. All right, thanks so much. And, of course, to learn more about Oakley Place, you can go to oakleyplacecare.com.